Welcome to a tour of Entwine. In this video, I want to show how we can be guided by colors to fix some common issues we'll find when debugging within Harlow 3.3. So let's look at this story. It's got three different passages, and I am using the startup tag with variables over here, and display array is going to be used over here in start. So by first glance, we don't really see any problems, but as we'll start to look through these passages, we'll notice the colors the syntax highlighting, what it's known as a technical term, is going to be slightly off. So let's kind of walk through the problems that I put within this code. So let's go ahead, go ahead and start with variables. Now we notice we're using the startup tag, which means this passage will be run before the start passage. And we notice we're using the set macro. We've got a storewide variable to we're creating an array. It's got these entries and something's a little odd here. Notice this appears as parentheses, but doesn't have a color to it. If I give it the missing closing parentheses, now it has a color. This opening and this closing parentheses has a different color, and this has a kind of gray default color to it, but now it shifts from text to a macro. So pretty common mistake that we can get ourselves into, as shown in a previous video. Well, we've accidentally not included the right symbol or the right number of symbols. So, okay, it looks like we've potentially fixed this thing right here. Okay, great. But let's say we didn't fix it. Let's say I didn't catch this in time, I wasn't paying attention, or maybe I just didn't open this passage at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and not fix it right now, but we've just seen the fix for it. So let's say potentially, I was looking at display array. I was like, okay, for each, we're using an array, we're gonna print, uh, string i, okay, well this seems correct looking at it. Okay, well let's go over here to start. Well, okay, display, display arrays, this looks okay. Colors wise, it looks okay. But we're gonna run into a little bit of problem. Let's build and play. Oh, I can't display the passage display arrays because it doesn't exist. Well, that doesn't make sense. Um, I have a passage right here called display array. Oh, notice this. I have display arrays. I've accidentally added an S right here. Notice it's a particular shade of color right here, kind of a bluish uh, green, depending on your perspective. And I'm gonna now change this slightly and take off this S. Notice it's suddenly changed. Now it's display array of a slightly different shade of color. When it's display arrays, it was one color, and display array, it's a different color. That's because this now matches this name right here, this passage. So the colors guide us to what I wanted to fix. So let's say, okay, I've solved this problem, potentially this fixed, what do we build and play from here? Oh, okay, I can't spread out the number zero because it's not a string data set or an array. There is an attempt variable named underscore i in this place. Oh, well, this is a little strange. I wonder what this means. Well, we previously saw right here that we fixed this and now these colors match. The problem might be over here, but remember there's actually a problem I solved the, towards the beginning of this video, which is to say up here. So let's double check everything. Ah, I bet that's it. We're missing the closing parentheses. So let's try running it again. Oh, and there we go. One, two, three, four, five, and everything seems now to be running correctly. So what happened? Well, we double checked the colors guided by the colors of each passage and its corresponding syntax highlighting. Put another way, we looked at the colors of each passage. Is this what I expect to see? Notice that display arrays doesn't match display array. Display arrays is the name of the passage, display arrays is not. So the colors helped us guide us in that. We also saw the same thing over here in variables. I had accidentally forgotten, purposely forgotten for the sake of this video, the closing parentheses of that, and then noticed that it didn't quite match up over here. But once I added this, now it looks like it has the correct colors and is working correctly. In fact, this over here didn't have any problems at all. I just wrote it in a kind of complex way so we could think maybe it was the problem. But in fact, it was two kind of common issues we run into. We've accidentally misspelled something, something that happens all the time for me, or we've accidentally forgotten the correct symbol, which happened over here in variables. In each case though, we were using the colors within the Harlow to help guide us to what we needed. We checked to see display array matched an existing passage, and we double checked that our set macro within variables was set up correctly for what we wanted to use. 
So in all of these cases, again, guided by the colors. Let the colors within Harlow help us, right? They're down, they are there to help us. They're not there for anything else other than to help authors create stories. So double check everything as you're creating your stories. And as this example showed, double check you've not accidentally added an extra letter or transposed some letters, something a common issue for me. And just double check everything looks the way it should and then run it everything. Run it, maybe change the, the starting position, passage, change it to another place and double check everything is working correctly. And once it is, the colors should all be exactly as they should be, all within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.